Munson at ATT in Miramar. This is Howard Davis Jr. at ATT in Miramar. So how's the training coming along, guys? Uh, training's going good. Um, work with Howard and uh, get my boxing, you know, improving my boxing and uh, striking everything. More, more of a complete fighter and uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in good shape and I look forward to fight. So how does it feel uh, training with Howard, who's also the uh, co-promoter of this uh, uh, event? Well, uh, Howard's been my coach for seven, eight years now, so he's, you know, we've been through the, the best and worst of things, so, um, you know, he always been my trainer, you know, as far as, you know, I can't come out in my corner for the fight, but um, other than I that, he, I, go, I think I can, but um, we'll see. Yeah, but anyway, he's, he's training me for the fight and, uh, and getting me ready and, and doing jiu-jitsu with, uh, you know, as well at, at Top Team and um, getting ready, work, working out with JC Santana for my conditioning and, um, and I'll be ready to fight. How would, uh, um, as co-promoter, how much more work do you put into uh, training him, Se seeing that he's uh, uh, going to be the main fight of the event? Well, you know, it's always 24 hours in a day. So we do find some time to work out, and uh, that's basically, we try to put at least an hour in a day mm -hmm. of his striking, and uh, that's basically, you know, it's always 24 hours in a day. We, we always find some time. And being that like you guys are you know training together and promoting this event, which is going to be uh, Fight Time One, August twenty first at uh, Club C Cinema in Pompano Beach, how much more does this influence you to want to win this fight? Man, I, I hate to lose, so no matter what I do, um, I hate to lose. So that's that's why I'm in this game is because I, um, you know, I just have that drive to win. So you know, I'm not training any special harder or, any, or anything else because it's fight. I mean, I always train hard. I always do my best. Um, of course, I want the show to do well, you know, my good friend putting it on, um, you know, the main event in the car, so, but whether I'm fighting, you know, the main event in a, you know, show or on the UFC or whatever it is, I, I want to win. There's no, there's no, you know, holding back, uh, I want to do my best every time, and um, I hate to lose, so. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to be fighting uh, Jason Guida, who is uh, the brother of Clay Guida, and um, are you guys training for any specific... A weakness, or uh, are you guys sticking to the bread and butter? Well, we never want to give away trade secrets, so we don't leave it like that. But uh, we all train a little differently for um, Jason, and we just leave it like that. All right, and like you said, you hate losing, and you're, just, you're coming off a win via uh, unanimous decision against Bill Lima in the IFC one down in Australia. And before that, you had two losses via decision. So how, how much? More does this urge you to uh, want to make this fight not go to a decision? Um, well, I kind of had an epiphany uh, a little bit ago. So, I, you know, like I said, I lost two in a row before winning last one. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to start finishing my fights again. You know, work with Howard, my striking. And um, I'm going to be dangerous on the feet as well as on the mat. So, um, like I said, we, uh, you know, we're, we're training all aspects of this fight. Um, this fight and the upcoming fights. I just want to, you know, you leave it to a judge's decision. And, you know, whether you think you won or lost, you only got yourself to blame if it doesn't go your way. So you got to try to finish the fight. All right. And uh, as you as you guys have probably heard, you know, the IFC was in, uh, in the news recently for not paying the fighters. How bad is this as a promoter, Howard, to get that type of publicity and the incident that, like, you know, uh, a league, a promotion hasn't been able to pay their fighters? Well, uh, I've been through a similar experience, and it's not a good experience for a promoter to put on a show and not, not pay the fighters. I know sometimes the promoters don't make the kind of money they, you know, hopefully make. So sometimes that can be part of the aspect, but at least some point in time, this promoter, um, that uh, promoter that fighting in Australia should try at some point in time to pay some restitution to the fighters. You know, it's, I know it, it can be very difficult to get sponsors sometimes, and, and you know, I'm going through it now, you know, so I understand. But at the same time, you should make some kind of restitution yeah. Whether it's a later date or not, you know, pay the fights. So, um, come August 21st, what are your predictions on this fight? How do you see yourself ending this fight? Prediction? Yeah. Bang. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going in there to finish the fight, so that's my expectation. Anything less than that would be disappointing. So, 
You know, I don't like to predict what's going to happen, but that's my expectations is I'm going to go in there and finish the fight. Jason's a tough fighter. He's had 40 some odd fights, so he's experienced. He's a tough guy. Um, but if I do what I'm supposed to do, um, then I think the fight will have a favorable outcome for me. So I just need to go out and do train like I'm training and uh, and get in there and, and get the job done. You know, I got a job to do and uh, I want to do it well. And for those people who haven't been able to uh, uh, see Jeff uh, the Snowman once and fight before, what can they expect? Um, I give it all, you know, it's, it's my livelihood, it's my life. So, you know, I go out there and, um, you know, I think I'm a pretty complete fighter now. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of things I'm working on to get better and better. But um, every fight that's, you know, so I do, I don't like to lose. So, um, you know, I'm going to come there motivated to do well. And, you know, I hope the fans are entertained, you know. Um, and uh, I hope the fight ends in a finish. <laughs> well, you know, Jeff is really being modest about himself. Jeff is one of the greatest MMA grapplers in the history of this sport. And I think that uh, people that come to see this fight, they're going to see a little bit of everything. Striking, his striking skills has improved, and his grappling skills, are, as everybody knows, is phenomenal. Probably one of the greatest grapplers uh, in the history of this sport. And I think that when you got those two combinations, uh, especially fighting Jason Guido, you know, anything can happen in that fight. Uh, I think that kind of combination, uh, you'll see a, a fantastic fight. And we got 12 other fights, 12 other bouts on this show that are exciting fights. And some are, some are newcomers, some have experience. So you're going to see a complete genre of this sport. That's was awesome. And being that we're here in Florida, you know, there's a, lot, uh, a huge uh, Latino uh, community here. How do you guys feel about the MMA getting so big in the Hispanic community and in countries? And um, like what, what what country would you like to fight to in if, uh, if you were able like mexico mexico is uh, the sports getting huge uh you know south america argentina supposedly is, is, is pretty big if you had an opportunity to fight in uh in any other country which country would that be and what do you think about the the growth in well, I, fought, I fought in brazil a few times and um, i fought in mexico city the fans are phenomenal um they're they're excited about the sport they're you know it's new to them they're learning um, but I have a little place in Nicaragua, and I'm getting a school, like a, not a fight school, but like an elementary school, and I want to like donate some time and stuff there. So um, that, I guess that's my goal down the road, is to bring the sport to Nicaragua, um, like through jiu-jitsu and, and fighting, and, um, and uh, get some the younger kids excited about that, give them something to look forward to, especially in some of the um, rural poor communities. and. Um, you know, where well, they don't have a lot and you don't need a lot of equipment to do it. And uh, so yeah, Nick Rock, that'd be, that'd probably be my dream, you know, maybe my, my last fight or something right there. Any, any thoughts on that, Howard? Uh, well, it's pretty amazing. It's my first time hearing this. And I'm pretty amazed at Jeff's humanitarian uh, spirit. I, I, you know, my wife is from uh, Nicaragua and, uh, you know, it's a very uh, important uh, nation. And for Jeff to bring up his spirit to Nicaragua and try to help the people down there is, to me, is pretty amazing. And I'd like to see more charitable uh, spirit uh, in this country to do something like that. Uh, and that's nice of you, Jeff. So how's, how's the Spanish, guys? Horrible. My, my wife keeps, keeps, like, she got that. She goes, you know, you got to get the, that, that disc so you can learn the Spanish. The, and uh, I'm like, oh, man, I know a little. I know some French. And so I wanted to keep it on the French. And she's like, what are you going to use it for? I'm probably nothing, but I, I, it's hard to go back to do nothing. <laughs> so. Believe it or not, I, I, I can speak Arabic uh, better than I can speak Spanish. And so my wife is from Nicaragua. Uh, but I definitely have to learn how to speak Spanish because my daughter is part Nicaraguan descent. And my wife is going to teach us Spanish, so I better hurry up. Yeah. Well, guys, August, tw August 21st is going to be fight time. And um, this is going to be, uh, the event's going to be held at uh, Club Cinema in Pompano Beach. Anything else that the people need to know before uh, come, uh, August 21st? Well, I, I, just let me say this about uh, our upcoming event, August 21st. It's going to be a very exciting card. Uh, Jeff the Snowman Munson is the headline of that card. We're going to have 12 exciting fights. And I wish everybody would come out and see our first inaugural show, which is uh, called Fight Time One. And we're gonna have a series of these, these shows. This is Fight Time One, the next show, hopefully in October, is gonna be Fight Time Two. 
so on and so on. Please come out, support us, support Jeff Munson. He's a great fighter, and we want to build up, uh, you know, a following here in Southern Florida. And uh, for those who want to get some tickets, it's oh, you can go to our website, fighttimepromotions.com, and uh, you know, get the tickets from there. And uh, tickets are, are, I'm not joking about this. They're going pretty quick, especially thirty-five dollar tickets. Uh, they're going pretty quick, so please go come out, support us, and uh, come out and see Jeff Munson. Any last words, Jeff? Sure. I just like like Howard said, you know, come out and support the fighters. This is, you know, this is like uh, these guys put like their heart and soul into this. Me and like all the other fighters, um, you know, it's not an extreme, it's an extreme sport, but it's not. You know, it's uh, you know just like you turn on the TV and you can see this like baseball, football, basketball, and um, these guys put a lot of effort in. It's most exciting sport in the world. Every martial art that's that's out there, like judo, jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, wrestling, everything is legal in the sport. So it's, it's exciting and uh, you know, come out and, and uh, support the athletes, support uh, Howard Davis doing this, uh, you know, he's, he's doing to put his life in the you know, training people in boxing. Now he's you know, stepping into the promotion ring and uh, well, they think this will be exciting for the community as well. Just Snowman Munson, and you're in El Octagono. El Octagono.